I'm Emma Lupich and you're watching CAN TV. We're here today with Commissioner Maricel A. Hernandez from the Chicago Board of Elections. So thank you so much for being with us today. It's my pleasure, thank you. So we're coming up on an unprecedented election in, in November. Um, can you talk about the safety measures that the Chicago Board of Elections is implementing at polling places across the city? Oh, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, given everything uh, that has occurred, um, the pandemic as well as uh, the Postal Service um, uh, cuts, um, we have uh, taken it very seriously. Um, we have uh, had the support of uh, the governor, the legislature, and uh, the mayor of Chicago. Um, so what we are planning to do is uh, a number of things. First of all, under this new legislation that the governor signed, November 3rd is going to be a state holiday. And that will provide uh, the board with access to more public buildings and larger spaces in many of those buildings that might not have been available in the past mm -hmm. in order to set up early voting sites and precinct polling places on election day. Um, so that is one of the, the best uh, things that, that will happen. Um, we will be recruiting more poll workers, particularly younger voters, to help us out in early voting as well as on election day. Um, and uh, at all of our sites, uh, we will have more PPE equipment um, including gloves, masks, sanitizing gel. Um, we're going to have plexiglass shields, similar to the ones in uh, retail stores, uh, between the poll workers and the voter. Um, and uh, we're going to have signage to encourage all voters to wear face masks and keep at least six feet apart from other people. And lastly, and most importantly, we're going to be strongly encouraging voters to use vote by mail and uh, early voting uh, this time around. So, I mean, after the death of one voting judge, Raval Burke, um, and the infection of some others during the primary, how can you ensure the safety of election judges? And I mean, you touched on recruiting younger voting judges, because typically voting judges end up being older Chicagoans. Um, how have those recruitment efforts been going? Um, it's difficult. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's, uh, we are embarking on a campaign to recruit more uh, election judges, um, but it is difficult. We're hoping that, um, given the fact that there are more people who um, uh, um, are not working at this time, that they will, um, uh, volunteer. I mean, it's a pay, they're paid positions, but that they will volunteer to, to do uh, uh, election work um, during early voting and on election day. But we, uh, we will be um, doing uh, more campaigning for this um, in um, uh, beginning now through uh, October. Um, in the hopes that we will get more people to come in and, and assist us. Okay. And so the Board of Elections has been working to expand and improve the mail-in ballot system even before the COVID-19 pandemic. So can you talk about those efforts? Right, right. Well, um, with regards to, to mail-in ballots, what we are doing and we have been doing um, since May or June is encouraging voters to apply to vote by mail and encouraging um, uh, persons who are not yet registered to vote to vote, uh, I'm sorry, to register online. So uh, we have been uh, pushing that very strongly because we feel that that is one of the safest uh, ways uh, to vote in this election. Um, if a person uh, registers to vote um, and uh, applies for a vote by mail ballot now, they will be uh, one of the first people to receive a vote by mail ballot. 
we expect those ballots to start uh, to for us to start mailing them out by September the twenty fourth. Um, that we we hope that uh, those registered voters who receive those mail in ballots will take twenty four to forty eight hours to fill it out and put it back in the mail. We want to make sure that there's plenty of time for the post office to return those ballots for us. Now, one of the, the things that we are doing differently uh, in this election for the first time, if you have a vote by mail ballot and you feel uncomfortable about putting it back in the mail, um, starting October 14th, uh, we will have early voting uh, open and running. If a registered voter wants to take that ballot and bring it to an early voting site, we're going to have secure drop boxes at each early voting site. And there will be a separate line where the voter can hand a board uh, personnel that ballot in their envelope, um, in the envelope provided by us. Um, and the board personnel will look at the envelope, make sure that the voter has signed and dated it, and it will be deposited into that secure drop box. Um, and that way uh, it's assured that the board um, has that ballot. And so that brings me to my next question, which is, I think something that a lot of people across this country are thinking about right now, it's USPS. So considering the vote by mail systems reliance on USPS, I mean, how can you assure Chicagoans that their ballots will be safely and reliably delivered? And would you recommend then, what you're suggesting is that you can actually physically deliver your um, vote by mail ballot that you receive to a location? Right. Well, um, I, despite the fact that the Postmaster General stated that he will not make any cuts after stating he would, um, I, I, I still feel a, a high level of concern um, about our ballots. And so I will continue urging all voters um, to fill out that ballot and return it as soon as they receive it. I am also urging all voters that if, if it reaches to the point of mid-October uh, and they still have the ballot in their hands, that they should go to an early voting site and drop it off. Another uh, important factor is, let's assume that a voter requested a vote by mail ballot and the voter has not received it by mid-June. Any voter who has requested a vote by mail ballot and who has not received it can nevertheless go to an early voting site and vote. So just the mere fact that you've requested a vote by mail ballot does not prevent you from going to an early voting site and, uh, and vote there. Um, if the person receives the, the ballot afterwards, just tear it up and throw it in the garbage. That's, that's all that has to be done. Okay. And I mean, would you recommend to voters that it is more reliable to vote in person? Um, you know, I, I, I think it's, if there is enough of a, a, a time lag, um, I think a, a, um, a mail ballot is wonderful and is reliable. My concern is as it gets closer to election day, I don't want uh, someone's mail ballot uh, not to be processed in time. So uh, that's why I feel that if a person receives a mail ballot uh, and, and does not have the time, um, I think, uh, you know, reasonably a, a voter should expect two weeks to um, once they send their ballot uh, for the board to receive it, given the way 
um, the Postal Service uh, is delivering mail right now. So um, if it comes to the point of, you know, where we're talking about October the 14th or the 15th, my inclination would be to recommend that voters um, go personally and, and take the ballot to an early voting site and, and drop it off in the secure drop box. And if they have not received the vote by mail ballot, they should just go to an early voting site and, uh, and vote uh, on the touch screen. Okay. And so let's, let's talk about those vote by mail dates then. So what should Chicagoans be looking out for? So when will they receive those vote by mail ballots? And then when is the absolute last day that they should send them in? Well, <laughs> they, as I said, uh, we will be sending, starting to send out vote by mail ballots beginning on or about September 24th. Um, we would hope that within a week thereafter, a good number of uh, uh, voters will have those ballots in their hands. Um, right now, uh, we have approximately uh, 275,000 uh, voters who have requested a vote by mail ballot. So we're hoping that uh, by uh, September 24th, we will be able to send all of those out in the mail. Um, if a person receives that ballot the first week of October, fills it out and sends it right back, I don't think there will be a problem. I, I think that there's plenty of time for us to receive it. Um, but as I said, uh, October 14th is the first day of early voting. Mm -hmm. And that will give the voter uh, another option, uh, which I think as of October the 14th, voters should think about just taking the, the ballot in, it, in the envelope we provide um, to um, an early voting site and dropping it off there or just voting um, at, at an early voting site. And I, I would like to mention that uh, we do have uh, protections to prevent people from voting twice. So um, uh, once uh, you, um, a person uh, sends back the, uh, the, the filled out ballot, um, it is processed in our poll books, which is a real time uh, poll book showing that that ballot has come, is being uh, returned. Um, likewise, when a person votes in early voting, the poll book will reflect that that person has voted. And on election day, it's the same thing. The poll book will reflect that the person has voted. Once that is indicated in that poll book, that person is blocked from voting again. Okay. Um, and so considering, as you just mentioned, the demand for vote by mail ballots has just skyrocketed. So you quoted it at about 275,000 Chicagoans who've applied for vote by mail ballots. So how is, um, how has your office prepared to handle this massive influx? Yeah, um, <laughs> it's, it, it, it is a massive influx and, um, we have, um, we have increased uh, staff um, that uh, is necessary in order to process those vote by mail applications. Um, we have um, more signature verification equipment. We have more ballot envelope opening equipment and more ballot scanning equipment. Um, so um, it, it has been, um, it, it has been a, 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 a big job um, that has gotten much bigger, exponentially bigger. Um, but we have um, done all of those things and uh, we're hoping that um, we will be able to keep up with the numbers. Um, and so 
any last messages for Chicagoans if people want to register to be election judges? Where can they find more information? All of that information is on our website, chicagoelections.gov. Okay. And it, you can uh, get online. Um, we will have um, information on becoming an election judge um, and uh, any other um, uh, work we have available uh, for this election. And we would welcome as many people as possible to apply. Um, it's really, really important. Uh, one of the most important elections of our lifetime. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, everyone, if uh, you can, please go, uh, go to chicagoelections.gov and uh, sign up for um, vote by mail ballot. And we will um, do everything we can to get it out as early as possible. Thank you.